My BFI player choice this week is a stone-cold cult classic from director Dennis Hopper, featuring a star-making central performance from the extraordinary Linda Manns, a film that takes its title from a song by Neil Young and that will go on to inspire Primal Scream's anthem, Kill All Hippies, featuring samples of some of Manns' most memorable lines from Out of the Blue. Hopper was originally hired just to act in Out of the Blue, playing a convict father of a rebellious teenager who's fascinated by Elvis and fired by the spirit of punk. Mom. But a couple of weeks into the shoot, Hopper, who had yet to shed his unreliable Hellraiser reputation, took over the directorial reins from original Helmer Leonard Jackier, rewriting the script and refashioning the project into something which fitted his own mythology and philosophy. Indeed, Hopper even commented that his character, who's in prison for driving a truck into a school bus, is very likely what would have become of Billy from Easy Rider a decade later. Yet for all the stories of Hopper's on-set madness, and there are many, this is Linda Manz's movie all the way. Having proved an amazing discovery in Terence Malick's Days of Heaven and dazzled as Pee Wee in Philip Kaufman's The Wanderers, Manz commands the screen in Out of the Blue providing what was arguably the defining role of her career. Headline grabbingly described as a sharp shocked complacent faith in civilization by the Daily Telegraph, no less, Out of the Blue was rather more soberly assessed by the ever-reliable Roger Ebert as an unforgettable poem about alienation, a very good movie that simply got overlooked after its well-received 1980 Cannes premiere. Today, Out of the Blue is generally regarded as one of the definitive cult movies of its era, a film that gets better with each subsequent viewing, and that remains a powerful cinematic testament to the iridescent screen presence of the much-missed Linda Manns.